This is a story about a boy and a butterfly. This boy, on his way to school, used to pass a man's house, and this man raised butterflies. And he had a whole bunch. And they were all in jars, and some of them were in cocoons. So he would stay there after school, maybe an hour or so, and, and learn about butterflies and showed the man that he was really, really interested in how butterflies live and how they're born and, and how they come out of cocoons. And so he asked the man one day after many, many hours, he said, could I have one of those butterflies and take them home and, and watch how he comes out of the cocoon? Because he never saw that before. And the man said, gee, I don't know. Um, it's real important, something that you cannot do under any circumstances. And the boy said, of course, mister, whatever it is. He says, you can never open the lid, you can never under any circumstances open the lid. Well, the boy said, I, I can do that. I'm, I'm good. I, I Try me, please. Give me a chance. The man said, okay, but remember what I told you. The boy took the butterfly home and uh, around ooh, maybe one o'clock in the morning after he'd been asleep a little while heard a little bit of noise and he grabbed his flashlight looked in the jar and there was the butterfly with a cracked cocoon trying and struggling to get out he only had one wing out of the cocoon and the boy felt so bad for the butterfly the boy wanted to help him so so desperately so the boy had his flashlight and he said, if I could just crack that cocoon a little bit more, the butterfly, he'll survive, he'll live. So he opened the top of the jar, reached in, grabbed the cocoon with the butterfly, and cracked it open the rest of the way. Well, the butterfly came out with the other wing, but then he struggled just a little, and he fell to the bottom of the jar. The boy was brokenhearted because he knew the butterfly wasn't alive anymore, and he cried. He cried for a long time, but now he knew he couldn't face the man. How is he going to go back? And he did what the man told him not to do. He waited days. Then he just couldn't stay out of school any longer and went to the man's house and explained what had happened. And he said, why did he die? Well, the man told him that as the butterfly struggles in the cocoon, the blood flow throughout his body goes to every part, to the ends and the tips of his wings, to the rest of him. But it's something that he has to do. No one can help him. And he said, I understand. Remember that. Remember it in your heart when you're suffering from some event or some tragedy. No one can really help you. The tools and everything you need and the skills are inside you.